Hello everyone, Dr. Jack Wolfson, board certified cardiologist, natural heart doctor. Welcome to day number nine of Happy Heart Month. Hope you're having a fantastic month. Our goal here at Natural Heart Doctor, the 100 year heart. The plan of course for this as Happy Heart Month is to give you 28 days of information, tips, strategies, steps to help you achieve your 100 year heart, reduce or eliminate pharmaceuticals, avoid dangerous procedures. And here we are on day number nine of this program. And what we're talking about today is all about oral health, dental health. So again, welcome. We're live right now inside the Natural Heart Doctor Facebook group on the Natural Heart Doctor Facebook page, and then also on the Natural Heart Doctor YouTube channel. We'll be sending out a replay of this as well. Again, jump into the comment section, say hello, and tell me how you're doing on this day number nine of Happy Heart Month. Hoping you're loving the activities. Don't forget that you have to fill out the monthly planner each day. Uh, we want you to comment about the word of the day. And when you turn that in, you get a $50 gift card for anything at Natural Heart Doctor. And then also three lucky winners will get the triple toxin test looking for metals, mold mycotoxins, 40 different environmental toxins, and you get the review with Dr. Lauren Latanza over at Natural Heart Doctor. So that's fantastic stuff. Laura Beth Sheets in the house, uh, welcome. And uh, again, everybody who's tuning in, great to see you uh, here as we talk about oral health. And there's, there's that dental heart condition, the dental cardiac condition, that just about every doctor knows about. It's very, very prevalent in the medical literature about how all things in the mouth affect what's going on in the heart. So as we all try and become doctors of cause to figure out why you have certain cardiovascular conditions, atrial fibrillation, cardiomyopathy, coronary artery disease, blood pressure issues, cholesterol issues, as you look at all these things, let's circle back today, let's point it back to the mouth and, and really make some impact there. Now, I do wanna say at this point, again, you need to work with a holistic dentist. If you go to holisticdental.org, they have all the listings of dentists near you that are certified by them in holistic dentistry. Now, there may be others, again, check the websites, speak with the dentist, and really try and hone in and make sure that, again, they practice true holistic dentistry. If you're out in Arizona, we have doctors out there for you. If in any way we can help you, please email us and we'll try and find a holistic dentist in your area. A lot of times too, is that people you're connected with on social media, on Facebook, even inside of our Facebook group, right? We've got 8,000 members of the Natural Heart Doctor private Facebook group. If you ask the question in there, chances are somebody can help you. Now also for dentistry, sometimes travel dentistry is okay as well. And we've had plenty of people travel to Arizona, to Colorado, to New York, to go to the dentist and see people all over. So again, there's a lot of different people uh, uh, you know, that we can hook you up with. The key is to find somebody. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about periodontal disease, gum inflammation. And that again, just hundreds of studies linking that periodontal disease, gum inflammation, linking that to cardiovascular disease. Now the bacteria that are in the mouth are often found inside of the heart, certainly heart infections uh, as well, can be from oral bacteria, the combination thereof. When they do, pathology studies and they look at coronary plaque, they see a lot of bacteria in there that is also found in the mouth. And again, that inflammatory process, whatever causes inflammation, those inflammatory markers lead to heart inflammation as well. If there's damage going on in the mouth, that leads to oxidative stress throughout the entire body. The lipids become oxidized, and now these oxidized lipids, oxidized LDL particles, which we measure in, in everybody who's a patient at Natural Heart Doctor, those get targeted by the immune system and again taken up by the coronary uh, arteries and plaque and so on and so forth. So, Periodontal disease, that's one thing we need to look at. The next thing we can talk about certainly is, is metal or mercury amalgams. And the fact that 
those of us that are children of the 70s and even the 80s, and certainly before that, they filled our mouths full of mercury and mercury amalgams. Those need to come out in an appropriate way by a certified holistic dentist. Those do need to come out. So again, we want to get regular dental care by a holistic dentist. We want the mercury amalgams out. And then now when teeth are infected and they're dying or they're dead, now many people are faced with the decision of whether or not to have a root canal. And a root canal is something that we are totally against at Natural Heart Doctor. There's a fantastic movie called Root Cause that you need to see. It's available online, so go search that for root cause. And that talks about the dangers of root canals. Now, what, what are root canals? When you have a dead tooth or a dying tooth, what a root canal procedure does is that it, the dentist, the endodontist, clears out that root. Now, what is in the root? The nerve artery and vein of that tooth. So they destroy the nerve, they destroy the artery, they destroy the vein, and it no longer would be causing pain because the nerve has been uh, removed. But now you have a dead tooth. You have a non-functional tooth in your mouth. And no matter what they say, as far as clearing out the infection, they can't. The, the dental tubules are miles long inside of these, you know, inside of our tiny teeth. Again, there is just almost an endless area for bacteria to hide. You, you cannot clear that out. So instead of having a root canal, we recommend if the tooth is dead, you have the tooth extracted. And then the question is, do you have some kind of an implant? Do you have a titanium implant? Do you have a zirconia implant? And at this time, a natural heart doctor, we are, are against the implantation of any, of, of any foreign object into the body. Now, for most people, that's not a big deal. If it's back in, in if it's a molar, uh, if it is a tooth in the back, back of the mouth, it really is not anything that is aesthetic that we need to replace. And missing a tooth does not have any significant impact on interfering with chewing or swallowing or breathing. So in that scenario, again, it's better, better left without an implant. Now, if it's an aesthetic thing, if it's up front, that is a different sort of individual understanding about the risks and benefits of an implant. So for example, if you were playing hockey when you were 16 or fell off a balance beam when you were 14 and now that tooth uh, is, is gone and is an implant, again, that's an aesthetic thing. And again, we have to weigh the pluses and minuses, but there's really no reason to put an implant into the back of the mouth. It's just, it's just uh, all risk for, for no reward. So we don't recommend that. So that is the root canal uh, procedure. So many of the things as it pertains to the mouth, again, we want to use quality uh, toothpaste, uh, the, you know, making sure that there's no fluoride in that product. We don't drink fluoride out of, uh, fluoride out of water. We don't want fluoride in our toothpaste. And we want to find a product where we can read on the label all of the natural ingredients. They're all legible and understandable and not full of synthetic chemicals. Now, I grew up on things like Crest and Colgate and other brands like, like that. Those are all poisons. Of course, we don't use that in the Wolfson household. In fact, for the most part, you don't even need a toothpaste. It's really, really just kind of brushing it well with water can be very helpful as well. Get a natural toothbrush. There's companies that produce natural toothbrushes, and we recommend those. The, uh, a natural dental floss as well. We use Desert Essence uh, is a brand and again most of these you can find online whether it's on amazon or at the local natural grocery store go check it out there uh com excellent comments are coming in we to see you uh all of my health issues over 12 years ago started with dental uh, issues had all my amalgams and root canals removed detox yes you know certainly when you find a holistic dentist and they're doing these procedures in the mouth they'll typically do some kind of detox detoxification program, or at least work with a natural doctor in conjunction with the dentist to make sure that maybe IV therapy before or after to make sure that you're flushing out all these toxins, binding up these toxins, chelating out these toxins and, and removing them. So, you know, the po whole point of today was all just talking about holistic dentistry. Just start by finding a holistic dentist 
In most scenarios, there's no rush to have dental work done. Interview one, two, three holistic dentists. See which one you like best. See which resonates with you the best. Now, as it pertains to oral health, of course, now we're talking about things that uh, uh, include uh, breathing and making sure that if you are at risk for sleep apnea, you should get tested for sleep apnea. We have something on our website called the Watch Pat, where we test people remotely for sleep apnea. We send out the, the uh, device, which is essentially a watch. You wear it for a night. It attaches to a lead on your chest to determine if you have sleep apnea, the watch pat. Very important to get that diagnosed. Now, it doesn't mean that you need an oral appliance for your sleep apnea. It doesn't mean that you need some kind of CPAP machine blowing air into you at night. It may mean we need to reposition you, how you sleep. It may mean we need to work on strategies to help you uh, reduce weight, help your oral airway, different things that we can do. We've done uh, very successfully as well. Uh, Laura Rossiter is talking about oil pulling. I've done oil pull, uh, pulling. I haven't done it consistently. I know some people swear by it. I don't know if there's really a lot of science and research uh, behind it. Now, when you're doing some kind of an oil like that, it is a natural antimicrobial. So there may be some benefit in, for example, you know, coconut oil pulling uh, that you're doing in your mouth and, and that could have some value there. Again, there's really not in the, in the scientific literature of the benefit of doing that. I don't think there's any downside to doing it as well. Uh, Lizbeth Shine by Oral Wellness, a remineral, uh, remineralizing tooth powder, powder. Again, I don't know about that particular company, but again, look at the, at the ingredients Look at the inactive ingredients. Make sure that, again, we're looking for quality organic products. And we have a page on our website called What We Use. And on there, we vetted out certain products that are fantastic for you. And the good news is there's a whole bunch of different companies that you can use for that. So get your teeth checked out. If you've got any evidence of periodontal disease, we want to we wanna take care of that. If you've got metal amalgams, you want to take care of that. If you want, if you have a, a root canal uh, tooth, now the question is, you know, should you have that tooth extracted? I think that's a personal conversation that everybody needs to have with their holistic doctor. But going forward, there really is no reason to actually get a root canal done. Uh, dental, dental issues are difficult. Dental issues can be very expensive. There's there's uh, travel dentistry uh, that, uh, you know, that is offered. Uh, there is the idea of what's called chronic cavitation. So if you had a wisdom tooth removed and now you have what's called a cavitation, which could be a source of old infection because of a retained dental ligament that is there. Uh, that is also something you may hear about. Uh, oftentimes dentists rush to do routine x-rays, which we are 100% against the use of x-rays unless there is a real significant reason for it. And again, those x-rays should be limited and really just assessing uh, the question uh, at hand. Cone beam CT is one way to look for a dead tooth. Uh, but again, always speaking with your holistic dentist to try and minimize your radiation exposure. And then even after that, other things you can do from a diet, lifestyle, standpoint that can help you withstand the radiation exposure that you get. So again, you know, so for example, greens powders or chlorella spirulina, or even a product that we use from Cellcor that we have on our website as well. That's called uh, HMET binder by Red Chem binder. There's different binders that people could take that could assist them through that uh, process as well. So uh, again, uh, just great conversation here. So happy to have you all inside of uh, Natural Heart Doctors Happy Heart Month. I do want to let everybody know of the word of the day. And by the day, uh, by the way, today is sponsored by uh, uh, Walita Toothpaste. They're one of our affiliates as well. So you can check that out. And we also released a fantastic podcast that Dr. Lauren Latanza did with Dr. Rochelle Carver about holistic dentistry. And today's word of the day is wellness. Wellness is today's word of the day. Glad you are all here uh, for the word wellness. Make sure you write that down in your calendar. And then that when you send that back into it,
this at the end of the month, get the $50 gift card to Natural Heart Doctor. The main thing really is just to make sure that you're all paying attention every day, getting all these benefits. So you're gonna write that down on the calendar, turn that in at the end of the month and you get the $50 gift card and you're also eligible for the triple toxin test and review by Dr. Lauren Latanza. All right, fantastic information today. Tomorrow, we're gonna be coming back uh, to you and I'm gonna pull up tomorrow. Tomorrow is actually the coaches and coach Christina will be on talking about, about mindset, the happy mind and the happy heart. Uh, over here at Natural Heart Doctor, again, what are the things we focus on? Eat well, live well, think well. So we know the right foods to eat. We talk about that. We talk about living well, sunshine, sleep, being physically active, the holistic dentist, go see your doctor of chiropractic, and then think well. Find your happy. That is the key. So have a wonderful rest of your day. We appreciate all of you and all your support here at Natural Heart Doctor on your path to the 100-year heart. And we will see you all tomorrow.